two, one. We have ignition and liftoff of NASA's New Horizons spacecraft on a decade-long voyage to visit the planet Pluto and then beyond. Uh, hi, I'm Robin Stewart. I work for the radioisotopic power source group here at the INL, and uh, we build uh, and test uh, generators for both security and space applications. The shaker table that I'm sitting at uh, tests the devices to ensure that they survive launch and any entry, descent, or landing that may happen during that uh, mission. And our whole goal here is to make sure that after the launch, the generator still works and the spacecraft still gets the power that it needs to operate. The biggest fear that we have is that we under-test it, which means uh, the rocket could break the generator, or we over-test it, which means I break it here. Uh, so it, it's, it's, other than that, it's pretty easy. The mission that we're currently working on is allowing the MSL, which is a Mars Science Laboratory rover, to go to areas of Mars that the scientists want to explore. And uh, the multi-mission RTG that we've recently built and are uh, readying for launch uh, will enable that rover to go to places that the existing rovers cannot. I think it's exciting, though, that we get to work with devices that actually enable uh, things that man makes to go so far away from the solar system. I mean, uh, just this month, the Pluto New Horizons launch that we did in 2006 is halfway to Pluto, and that's just kind of boggling. Uh, that's something that we actually built, built here at the INL is headed to some place that no other spacecraft has gone. Going to the Pluto Kuiper Belt uh, is pretty exciting, and I'm actually ho hoping I'm still being around when they actually uh, collect the data and we get to see what that planet actually looks like.